What's going on everyone? Gavin Peacock, Flip Society. Hope everyone's having a good spring out there. We're finally getting some warmer weather in Toronto. And as you can see behind me, I've been starting to do some spring arranging with all the gear, just a little tidy up. I'm going to get to a full tour video like I've done in the past, giving you a tour of all the gear and all the accessories I use. But to keep this video short and sweet, I was thinking, what is the one accessory I could highlight to you guys that I use all the time with my GoPro? If the house was burning down and I had to grab just one thing for the GoPro, what would it be? Um, and the answer, based on all the footage I was looking through that I've taken in the past eight years with GoPro, was dead easy. The reveal, I'll go get it. This here is the LightyPod 3 from Slick. And I know, yes, it's just a simple selfie stick. There's three billion of them around the world, but I think hands down the best tool you need for a GoPro is a stick of any kind. If you look at my old selfie monopod battle, selfie stick monopod battle from back in the day, I'll link it up here. I go through a variety of every type of stick you can use to extend the GoPro off of the body. For bang for its buck and the number of unlimited ways you can get a camera angle and bring the camera in and to from the action using a selfie stick i really don't think any other mount over there on the body off the body suction cup clamping can equate to uh, the power of these selfie sticks and it just shows proof is in the pudding i'm going to show you guys a wicked compilation of all the shots through all of the years of my 365 days of awesome compilations where I've been using the LightyPod 3 to get the shots that I've been in my movies, traveled the world with me, goes everywhere. If I'm using GoPro, I'm using this guy. I went online to see if this thing even existed anymore so I could throw you guys a link. Everything I mentioned today will be links in description, by the way. Um, they've actually come up with an updated version of this. This thing's got the 360 swivel head, which makes its angles endless, basically up top. Gives you the sweet selfie option gives you the spin away option and infinite mounting when it's just wedged into the ground or between a tree or a rock or something when you're trying to use it like a tripod. The tripod mount on top, I got links to those things, comes off and there's just a regular screw mount that you can attach. I attach the gimbal to it and then the GoPro's on there. It's basically the extension of your arm you need to make GoPro content, otherwise you're forever trapped in the length of your arm distance of angles. Check out this montage that I put together of all the clips in the last seven or eight years of me using this sucker with the GoPro. You'll see its versatility. I don't have to talk about it.
boom, that's the montage. This thing takes a licking, keeps on ticking. Lighty Pod 3, my favorite selfie stick of all time. This guy extends to almost five feet, I believe. Um, and that's my, basically as much as I want to pump up this guy. The Spivo is pretty cool. It clicks back and forth, giving you instant double angles. But uh, again, this thing I've done chin-ups with. It saved me in races. I've pulled people up big mounds in the Tough Mudder race, beaten off a pack of wolves with it once, propped up a tent with it. This thing has been all over the place. It's my lifeline when I work with GoPro. So you should get this model or something very similar. Own a selfie stick or a monopod in your arsenal when using GoPro. I will go into more detail of this and all my other accessories when I do the spring walkthrough tour. I'm almost a year overdue from the last one, so stay tuned for the next video. It'll be touching upon all the gear I use. And until then, love you guys. Like, subscribe, and share. See ya. Gavin Peacock out.